All right, so I want to talk this morning about some people who are constantly saying that, what did they do? For the individuals like Dijon Kenzie, like Fred Williams, like so many others that ran from the police, or like Ryan Twyman, who he didn't run, he just tried to get away. He was in his car when they opened his back door. Um, People say, well, they must have done something. Um, right now, one of my good friends, Ronald Chapman, uh, I'll call him Mad Ronald, um, since 2009, he has been part of the solution. He talked about being part of the solution in 2004, 5, 6, but he really became a part of the solution in 2009. Uh, not only did he work as a city worker, um, working for GRID, not only did he start his own um steam cleaning business where he was doing uh, carpet cleaning. He did a number of things. He would do TV hookups, stuff like that. He did any and everything he could legally from 2009 till now. But one of the main things that he was doing is he was a voice of reason. He was talking to people about not being gang involved, about not being uh, in the criminal element and the criminal lifestyle. And just like they did little Doc, now, Mad Ronald was in jail under some indictment that's been going on for a year. If this indictment had started in the 80s and they just now got the evidence, I would say, OK, cool. But for those of you who say, well, he must have did something wrong. I just did an interview with Bobby Braggs and Bobby Braggs did 33 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. And everybody say, well, he did something. The police wouldn't do that. This video right now is telling you that law enforcement does their investigation based on the facts that they believe they are the experts in this field. The district attorney does their investigation based on what law enforcement said. All that's presented to the courts and what it amounts to is holding people in custody for a number of years where they have to prove that they're not the person that the police officers say they are. They have to prove that this investigation was wrong. And if they don't have $100,000 for an attorney, if they don't have the money to get out of jail, then what happens is, well, right now it's a no bail hold, but what happens is it's the same as slavery. We have a system holding our people in bondage, in custody. And it's not based on what they've done. It's based on what the government wants us to believe that they've done, and they want to prove it. And they have millions of dollars to prove whatever they want to prove, where Matt Ronald was a carpet cleaner. He has hundreds of dollars. So the scales are unbalanced. And this video is really um, just so that you guys think, because there's a lot of people who still don't want to vote. Voting is coming up next Tuesday. Well, that's going to be the deadline of voting. And I want everybody to think about it, man. Think about it. are these laws unjust? And if these laws are unjust, then start reading those ballot initiatives. Start reading the, measure, the, reading the measures the Senate bills, the assembly bills, because this is how they got us back in the 90s with Bill Clinton and Joe Biden, because they wanted to put all the black people in prison. They put all the Hispanics in prison. So now look where we are today with people coming home after 20, 30 years for crimes they didn't commit. Uh, Maurice Carroll is still in custody for something he did not do. They say he must have did something. Yeah, he did something. He was there. He was in the place where someone killed somebody. So they gave him the murder as well, even though he didn't kill nobody. You know, we got to stop and think, man, um, these are not isolated incidents, man. Jan Brewer admitted to what he did and his crime partner is still in custody. We got Ace Capone. Ace Capone says, look, man, if y'all think I did this, which he said he didn't, he said, who is this fat guy who he didn't know, this other dude who ended up doing 25 years? So somebody's being wrongfully convicted. If it's not Ace Capone, it was the other dude who did 25 years on that case because they don't even know each other. So when the police shoot someone in the back like Fred Williams and they never find the gun, when the police see that Dijon Kenzie, excuse me, the sheriff see that Dijon Kenzie is running away and they still shoot him in the back. I need everybody to stop saying, well, stop running. You did something. Man, this is going to turn into white people versus black and Hispanic people. And as much as you black people want to separate from the Hispanics or as much as you Hispanics want to separate from the blacks, 
Let me tell you what it's coming down to. It's really coming down to where they are showing us in 2020 that we can very easily go back to the 1950s, that they can easily go back to where the signs on the wall said no dogs, no Mexicans and damn show no N words. So don't think that we've come a, a, a great distance because we haven't. We're, we're, we're one vote away, one election away from going back to getting our food out the back windows, from having a colored faucet and a white faucet, to, to drinking water out the water holes. We, we, have, not, we have not come uh, far at all in this country. And you can give me all the different cars and what they do and all the technology and the medicine and all that, but we have not come far spiritually and morally. Spiritually and morally, we are in the same place we were, if not in the 1950s, then in the 1860s. We're in the same place. The spirit is which hasn't grown. The spirit of, of what goes on in this community and then, I'm not this community, but this country, but how can the spirit grow in this country if we've never addressed all the wrongs that have been done? If we've never addressed the true spirituality, you want us to go to church and give some money and I look up in the church and I see there's a white man and you want me to pray to him as God. So that's why we have all this division and all that, not because of what's going on materialistically, um, but what's going on spiritually. Spiritually, we're in a bad place in this country. Spiritually, we're in a bad place in this government. Spiritually and morally, we're in a bad place in law enforcement where it does not matter. You'll get a warrant and take someone to prison, take them to jail, hold them against their will until they prove that they didn't do what you accused them of. We're in a bad place right now. And this don't just happen to Mad Ronald. It just didn't happen to Lil Doc Throne. This has been happening. It happened, think about how many other black leaders, uh, George Jackson, think about Bunchy Carter, think about Huey P. Newton, think about that. When they cannot get us, they'll get us to get us. Listen to what I said. When they cannot get us, because they will come to get us, but when they cannot come and get us, they will get us to come get us. They'll have us tripping on each other. Man, this this right here, um, I know it got kind of emotional because I could see the lack of spirituality, the lack of morality in this country today when people are not looking for the truth, not looking for the answer. But what they're looking for is, what did he do? He must have done something. Well, I ain't going to say what I want to say, but I want to say F all y'all who think like that. These people don't need to be shot and killed. And a lot of these people don't need to be put in prison for things they didn't do. What's going to happen when it's your turn? What you going to say then?